Welcome to another episode of the Purple Gallinol. Uh, we are back from Florida uh, due to COVID-19. We are hunkered down in quarantine here in New Hampshire. We don't know when we'll get back to the boat, but it probably won't be until the fall. Yes. Oh. October maybe? Sometime around then. So we've got to keep busy until between now and then. I'm bored! I'm bored! Yeah, I'm terribly bored. We're going out of our mind. There's only so much you can watch on Hulu. So, um, we've decided to start in on another enterprise, which is to... We are going to build a new dinghy for ourselves that will fit onto our new boat. Mm -hmm. And this dinghy's uh, a little larger than um, the one you've seen in previous episodes with Little Ibis. This one will be a sailing dinghy, uh, 10 foot long. 10 foot long, mm -hmm. uh, strip built mm -hmm. wood with um, carbon fiberglass. Yes. And, uh, and so we're, we're, we didn't actually download the plans per well, se. We got the... We, we, we got started with downloaded plans and then we modified it from there to make it suit more of our style of sailing. It's kind of a custom design. And so, um, so we're going to try our hand at boat building and we're going to have you uh, give you the opportunity to follow along with us uh, as, we, as we built a boat in our new workshop in the basement. The first thing that we'll be doing is uh, taking the plans that you put together and making forms and making forms and then uh, we'll, we'll be able to strip build from there. Let's go. We've sectioned off a, a portion of the basement um, with protective plastic. We've got our plywood here. Gary's moving it on in. So uh, let's take a look at the shop and uh, we'll get started. The first step in an operation like this is to... <laughs> mark the patient. Mark the patient. And in this case, we're, we've got a grid. We're going to set up a grid work on here and transpose um, what we have for plans on the PC, which were done in SketchUp, onto this plywood. And we'll transfer the lines, connect the dots, and we'll have our parts for the form. It's just like you used to do in middle school, to take a, a small picture and make it into a larger picture before they had Xerox machines. Remember that? And before mimeographs. Wait, I'm not that old. Okay, so we're going to put this in time-lapse mode so we won't bore you with the details and you can watch us grid this out. Hang on. what we're doing is transferring from SketchUp. I'll zoom in here so you can take a look at this. These are the forms here for each of the stations. And we'll, we have a grid laid out and we're going to transfer each one of these forms onto the grid using a tape measure to translate.
it is cut out, we have lots of pieces. We have the forms for which we will do our strip bill. And they're all in order from front to back. So we're going to take each one of these forms and get them up here on the strong back. And we'll lay out our strips along the forms, bending along each form. They'll each be screwed in. So this is going to become our center board. Come out of the belt like that. And this, this is the center board case. But first we're going to just fiberglass the inside of it. And put the other side on. And make up some uh, epoxy here. case is now fiberglassed. We have to put the top on and seal the unit up. But in order to preserve the shape, we're going to insert the center board to provide a form for the fiberglass to cure. Uh, this is the center board, which I've wrapped in plastic. We're going to place it inside, close up the center board case, and let her dry. Drive, we'll be able to remove the center board and preserve the case. And that's it. We'll let the epoxy cure and we'll call this a wrap for the day. This is day two of our build out on our sailing dinghy and we'll be at it again tomorrow. Be sure to click like if you like the videos and be sure to hit subscribe so that you don't miss an update uh, as we move forward with this project and many, many more which we hope to document and bring to you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to add any suggestions. We'll try to, try to do what we can uh, to try to make this something that is not only useful for us as a way to remember uh, what we've done 
and to share with you, but to make it an educational tool as well and give you inspiration to perhaps go out onto your own adventures one day and share your videos with us. That's it.